everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a how-to video, and today's how-to video is how to remove printing off of LEGO products using Brasso. So there are many different methods of removing printing from LEGO pieces, but the, today I'm going to show you how to use Brasso. I have used sandpaper in the past, and it works, but unfortunately it leaves a residue on the minifigures, and by residue I mean it leaves you can tell where the sandpaper is actually scratched off the printing. So I decided to try out Brasso and for what I've been using it for the past hour it works pretty good. So what you need to do this is you need some Lego pieces or Mega Blocks. I use Mega Blocks because there's no sense in ruining perfectly good Lego to do the exact same thing because these are not going to be used for anything besides painting on so I use a bunch of Mega Blocks pieces just because they're perfect for painting on because you can paint on them and not be upset. Occasionally though, although, although occasionally you do need some Lego pieces such as these kind of pieces and some other pieces just to get that this proper you know feel of it because Mega Bloks have to make specialty pieces. But for this, these work great. You're going to need this a printed torso, printed Lego piece, anything. This, I use this sponge, it's got the smooth end on the top and the rough end here. You will also need this another sponge, which this is fine, you could use the same one, but I'm using a different one. And you will need a tub of water and of course Brasso. So basically what I do is I'm going to put the torso on this Mega Block pieces, piece, whatever. I'm going to take the Brasso and I'm going to shake it up, give it a nice little shake on camera, open it up. And I'm just going to pour just a, like squeeze just a little onto my sponge. Close that up. And now basically what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to take it and I'm going to put it on my torso. You know, layer it all up there. Don't worry about how much you put on because it doesn't matter at this time. Just what I'm showing you. And I'm going to start rubbing my torso. So the rubbing it does take a couple minutes. I'm just going to rub hard and try and talk here. It does take a couple minutes and it's a good workout. <laughs> ha ha ha. Um, and you can already start to see that the printing is being removed. So you just keep just keep rubbing. It's going to take a couple minutes of Lego piece. This Brasso I have is older. It's not like brand new stuff. So maybe it doesn't work as well as it used to or... Maybe I'm just not doing the right method. You never know. I'm just showing you the method that works works well for me and that I do like. So I wouldn't do this normally, but I but just because I'm trying to show you the process, I'll just show you the step a little in advance. You take the second sponge, you just dip it in the water lightly, you drain a lot of the water out, and you actually use it to between the wet end and the dry just to remove the excess brasso. So this is what the torso looks like. So far, you can see that there is st still residue of printing that I have not yet to get away. So I'm just going to continue to use the same sponge and just keep doing it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now it eventually does work. Okay, so let's say, pretend we're all done this torso now. The whole thing is printed. I'm going to take some more of the sponge. I'm just going to lightly dip it in water. I'm going to take my torso and get it put the water on it now take the dry end of the sponge and just try to get all that excess water off I'm going to take my torso off and I'm gonna do the same thing put the water down here first and then use the dry part to remove the water so this is what the torso looks like with all you know <laughs> it, that's what it looks like with all the protein removed then this is I have another torso this is what it looks like when it's all done it started out as a torso with you know the fireman pattern and it ended in this so Brasso really does work I recommend for your workstation this mat if you don't have a mat you know just use your desk but don't worry because if you do get Brasso on it um, I actually don't know what what it will do why don't we try that out so let's take a little Brasso so it actually doesn't leave any like residue on your desk or anything but I recommend if you don't want to just take the risk of wrecking your desk or something like that you will use a mat. Thank you for watching this minifigure customizing tutorial on how to remove Lego printing from Lego products. 
Thanks so much for watching, and if you want any other tutorials like this for minifigure customizing, let me know. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a great day.